Hear what I say There's a simpler Kind of way Tell me brother Hear what I say There's a simpler Kind of way After we left Brisbane River we headed to St Helena Island we stayed there for the night and then headed off in the morning towards Morton Island. Morton Island is 25 kilometres offshore from Brisbane. It is the third largest sand island in the world. Our anchorage for the night is Bulwa, Morton Island. Bulwa wrecks were put there deliberately in 1930 to create a sheltered area to unload boats the wrecks are a beautiful swimming place. no wind this morning. So we're just leaving Morton Island very slowly. I'm just drifting. We're heading towards Malula Bar today. So we've left uh, Morton Island, northern end, we're heading for Malula Bar. Got light breeze, 10 knots, just pushing us along at about 6 knots. So it's quite a nice little sail today. But I'm going to have a rest and uh, there's only one thing, you've always got to have someone on watch. We got Bella. Three hours. Three hours. 
That's cooking good looking. Woo! Open the hatch up, baby. Come on, we're away from the big smoke now. Let it out. We're getting there real quick. Seven knots in about. We're actually doing all right. We're doing seven, seven and a half knots, and we've only got like nine and a half knots of wind. So we're cruising. What happened with the fish we just caught? Well, it had a parasite. Not just one. There was parasites all was through it. Just riddled with almost looked like small eggs. So I really didn't want to take the risk. And uh Thanks for yeah. back. Thanks for him back. It was a northern bluefin tuna. But we didn't anyway. want to end up with parasites ourselves, so. So we can see here on the iPad, we can see the ship, the Warnable, which is just off our starboard side over here. So just sort of testing out the AAS, getting a bit of an idea how it works. So for when we do a bit of night sailing, it's going to really come into its own. You can um, actually tap on it and bring up everything, CPA, range, bearing, speed, everything tonnage, what class it is, where it's going. Brilliant. There it is. Heavy traffic out here. Just about got to our destination. I'm close to Malulaba and the wind is just like four knots. It's only just pushing us along. Six knots. We're doing about three. I don't know. High tide's not till one, so we might just put along. The wind has gone. There's only just enough wind to fill our sails. And there was a dolphin here somewhere, and he's disappeared. We're just off Malulaba. is a coastal town on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Malulaba derives from the Aboriginal word mulu, meaning snapper fish, or mulla, meaning red-bellied black snake. Originally known as mula heads, the name was changed to Malulaba by Thomas O'Connor in 1919. Malulaba Harbour is the home of a large fleet of fishing vessels, as well as being the northern base for the pilot vessels that controlling shipping through Moreton Bay and the port of Brisbane. Due to its sheltered location in the lee of Point Cartwright, it is an all-weather harbour favoured by recreational sailors. <laughs> Coming to you live, the Malula Bar handstand competition here and up and going is Taj, Bella and Mama. Taj is struggling, he's slacking out behind the line there. Bella's in the lead, Mama's down. Bella's going, she's still going, she's nearly hit the finish line. There she is, she's done it. The winner is, woohoo, Bell Bell.
Taj, he's still trying. Keep going, buddy. Sorry, Taji boy. You didn't quite cut it to the finals. But anyway, here we go again. I was on my Lyra this morning, playing around, and a really lovely guy came past on his um, kayak, just going for a paddle, and he ended up being one of our followers on YouTube, and we're having a conversation, and he is really, really nice, and then he said that he was a, he used to do all the rigging for the circus um, stuff, and he was mentioning that I didn't have a swivel on my Lyra, so I could spin and I said no I don't I'd love one anyway um, we were talking talking and then he tied it off we said goodbye um, I didn't get your name and I'm so sorry that I didn't get your name but um, he came back and he gave me a swivel <laughs> and a clip and I'm so happy and so grateful and and I just wanted to say a big thank you um, it was really lovely and I can spin on my Lyra now. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get your name, but thank you so much um, for going out of your way and, and for getting that for me. Um, I am going to spin and use it so much. So you will see plenty of footage of me spinning. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you are a beautiful person. away from the mainland for a month or two, hopefully, exploring islands and reefs in northern Queensland, Australia. We hope to bring you some beautiful footage of untouched areas, so if the videos have a little delay in being uploaded, this is why. 
If you want to follow us along in between movies, we will do our best to update Facebook and Instagram on our whereabouts with photos and updates, so head to the links below to be kept in the loop. We appreciate all of our patrons so much and hope that anyone who enjoys our movies can help us by becoming a patron. Having patrons helps support us to be able to continue travelling and sharing with all of you. The money from our patron goes towards our video productions. At current, we are saving for a drone. Then would love to invest in a better quality video camera to bring you guys better quality episodes. We hope you enjoyed our episode 23 and look forward to episode 24. Thanks for watching. Tell me, brother, hear what I say.